That's a third less filling with all the taxes. Let's welcome the great governor of our state, Mr. George. My name is Murphy. And the agent said, well, it's a beautiful day today, but it...
Our greatest president for the last eight years. Let's show him how much California and Orange County love him. Thank you. Thank you all very much. I, um, I was thinking about making the speech over again, but then they told me you'd already heard it, so I shouldn't do that. I'll tell you, though, I know we have to move on. We're on our way to San Bernardino, and I know you've got those congressmen I was talking about are here, and all of them need your help and support. But if you don't mind, I thought I'd just take a second and tell you about a new hobby of mine. Really for true, I have taken to collecting jokes that I can absolutely establish are made up by the Russian people and told among themselves. And it reveals they got quite a sense of humor. Also, they're a little cynical about the system over there. So one of these jokes, I thought maybe I might tell you it's kind of personalized. It seems that this, this joke they've made up has an American and a Russian arguing about their two countries. And the American said, look, in my country, I can walk into the Oval Office, I can pound the president's desk, and I can say, Mr. President, I don't, don't like the way you're running our country. And the Russian said, I can do that. And the American said, you can? He said, yes, I can walk into the Kremlin, into the General Secretary's office, pound his desk and say, Mr. General Secretary, I don't like the way President Reagan's running his country. I think that gives you something of the idea. <laughs> but listen, I know, please get out there and vote and get all your friends and anyone that you see that thinks they're too busy to get to the polls, get them in there to vote. I'm going to tell you seriously one thing that I think illustrates the difference that I was talking about in my speech about our two approaches to the problems. When I became governor of California, uh, we had quite an economic situation to begin with. Uh, even though the Constitution says you can't have a deficit, California had a deficit under the previous administration. And we went to work to try and work things out and get it all right. And the first time we ever got a surplus, and they said, well, now, what do we do with that? I said, let's give it back to the people. And we did. We told them to, it amounted to about 10% of the income, state income tax. And I said, tell the people to only pay 90% of what they owe, and we'll make up the difference with the surplus. Well, about the fourth time that we had a surplus, and it was a very large one, and we worked out a system for giving it back. I think this explains the difference between 
the two philosophies. I said, we're giving it back and worked it out and went before the people and told them that this is what we were going to do. And a leader in the California State Senate from the other party stormed into my office and said, Governor, I think giving that money back to the people is an unnecessary expenditure of public funds. In other words, the money belongs to the government, not to you. Well, we're going to keep it the way we've got it this way. It's your money and we'll take as little of it as we have to to get the job done. So thank you all very much. God bless you all. Thank you.